hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to kick it with the chocolate valentine's day double fudge brownies and i'm gonna have my little helper here brooklyn you see her little hands so i do have a quick um reel slash tiktok made on this recipe but i did have some requests to do youtube videos as well with the voiceover because it's easier for them to follow along so if you want to watch the longer version of more explanation and step by step i have youtube but if you want to just get down and dirty real quick and see a 60 second video or less, check out my Facebook Reels. And I'm also putting them on TikTok, but I'm not really that active on TikTok. I'm still kind of learning. But my Facebook Reels and Instagram Reels, I am posting the recipes there as well from now on just to help out people who need it a little faster. So as you saw, I started out with the water and now I am starting with one egg so you're just going to crack one egg and put it right in the bowl with the water and then we are going there's a lot of ingredients in this recipe but i promise you it's worth it in the end so make sure you grab something to write with um, so that you can keep track of everything and don't have to keep re-watching the video so now we're going to get our old-fashioned oats um, it is too good to use the old-fashioned oats and not instant because you don't want it to get too mushy. So we're going to use a half a cup of the old-fashioned oats. And I just scoop it right out of the container and dump it into the bowl so that I can just go on and look at her little hand. She's helping me. She's so cute. She loves making these recipe videos. <laughs> All right, so now we are going to grab our next ingredient which is going to be our chocolate. Um, we're gonna be using the cocoa powder. So I use Hershey's cocoa powder. It's up to you what kind you use. I definitely use the Hershey's, love it with all my recipes, even the cocoa bombs, this is what I use. So you're going to need a half a cup. I know the glare is kind of bad, but you're gonna use a half a cup of the Hershey's cocoa powder. And while I measure that out in the video, I just want to take a second to thank all of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thank you for sharing because with all of your support on sharing, this page is what helps me to keep doing more and more for you guys. So now we are going to grab Hershey's sugar-free chocolate chips. Now you can use semi-sweet, you can use dark chocolate, whatever works for you. I personally like to use the sugar-free chocolate chips. And also Lily's is a really good brand. Um, they have the no sugar added chocolate chips. You can use those as well. And I will have other recipes with like white chocolate chips and this and that, but we'll get to those later. Right now we are going to focus on our chocolate Valentine's Day brownies. You're going to use one fourth cup of the sugar-free Hershey's chocolate chips. And these are the bigger ones. They're not like the mini chips. They're the bigger ones. Um, so we're just going to dump that right in there with the batter. A lot of people wait and don't do it until after it's mixed, but I actually like, look at her. She just grabbed that little Hershey that fell on the car, on the counter. <laughs> but as I was saying, you can definitely put it in there and mix it all at the same time. You don't have to wait and then fold them in. Um, I just go ahead and mix it all together. So now you're going to use three ounces of vanilla Greek yogurt. I actually just grab one of these little to-go yogurts that's already measured out. And I just put the whole container in there because it's three ounces. So I just buy these for my husband's lunch and it works perfectly because now I can use them for recipes as well. And I like to use these little rubber spatulas because as y'all know, if y'all have been following me and you're an old subscriber, you know I don't like to waste nada. So these rubber little spatula things, you, literally you get every little drop. So I use that whole container of the vanilla Greek yogurt and then we are going to move on. Can you guess the next one? It's it's odd, but my kid was like, why are you putting that in there? Um, But trust me, you're, if you make it without it, it'd be kind of weird. So you're gonna grab um, your one fourth cup and you're gonna fill it up with applesauce. Make sure it is not cinnamon applesauce. 
I just have the original applesauce. You can use unsweetened if you want to watch, you know, calories. But this is a healthy treat. So it's okay to use original applesauce in here. Um, but like I said, just make sure you don't use cinnamon applesauce because that might kind of throw it off a little bit. But after you add your applesauce in there, you have tons of ingredients in this bowl and you're going to add some baking powder. <laughs> Now, I just use my Herbalife measuring spoon. Um, you're going to need a, a teaspoon, right? It's a teaspoon. You're going to need a full teaspoon. So you're going to do two scoops of the small side, um, which is, you know, the side you use when you make some tea. So I just did two quick scoops of that right in there on top of the applesauce. And then I'm actually going to flip that spoon right over. And I'm going to add some salt. I believe that's one fourth. So right there, you see how you flip it over and you're just going to pour the salt right into that teeny tiny little measuring right there. And then you're gonna pour that right on top of the baking powder. Now you don't have to do it in this order. This is just the order I do it because I like to start with the liquid first. That way my powder don't stick to the bottom of the bowl. Now we're going to get to the fun part, which is your Herbalife Vanilla Protein Drink Mix. Make sure you grab the protein drink mix and not the Formula One. You're actually going to do four scoops of your vanilla protein. Now I know there's a recipe where people use sugar. Um, I just wanted to kind of X out the sugar and that's why I'm using vanilla protein. So I'm doing four full scoops. A vanilla protein and then we're gonna move on and we're going to grab your chocolate protein now a lot of people don't have chocolate protein just sitting around but I personally love the chocolate protein with like banana caramel or with Dutch chocolate or with mint chocolate or orange cream so I always have the chocolate protein but if you don't have chocolate protein make sure you order it because you're definitely gonna need four scoops of chocolate protein as well so it's four scoops of vanilla protein and four scoops of chocolate protein and after you get all of this mixed that is when the fun begins so we're gonna go ahead and mix all this up and I'm just gonna kind of chop it up and fast forward so you don't have to sit and watch me mix all this but um, the first time I ever made this, I don't know why the batter didn't mix very well and I had to add a little bit more water. So if you have to add a little bit more water, go ahead and do that. You're not going to ruin it. Just make sure you don't add too much water because you don't want it to be like slippery, slimy. You do want it to be, you know, like battery, like the way you see here. So then you're going to get your pan and you're going to go ahead and grease it up with some spray whatever spray you use, coconut oil, vegetable oil, whatever it is you use, go ahead and spray the pan. And then you're going to use your regular rub rubber spatula so that you don't, you know, waste any product. You don't want to waste no product at all. Okay. And you're going to get all of it out the bowl and you're going to put it in your greased pan and then you're gonna smooth it out and make it all pretty. So you're just gonna see me kind of digging all the chocolate off the bowl because I don't wanna waste any of the product. And I'm going to get every little piece out and I'm going to mush it and then I'm going to flatten it and you know, make it the way I wanna look so that we can have some nice beautiful brownies. And that was Brooklyn begging to lick the bowl because she just loves chocolate. <laughs> this girl loves some chocolate so as you can see the rubber spatula is cleaning the bowl basically and getting all the products out so again i just want to thank everybody for liking commenting subscribing and supporting the page because without all of you i would not be able to get everything i need to get to keep making these videos so i appreciate all of you and my videos will just keep getting better and better with the more support that we get so thank you guys so much as a content creator from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you guys. And I could totally do this for the rest of my life if y'all really want me to. <laughs> but anyways, make sure you share the page with all of your friends and family, especially your Herbalife family. I will be dropping all kinds of vlogs. 
and cooking recipes and Herbalife recipes. So make sure you check out the reels if you like the shorter versions because I'll be doing those as well. And now that I have my brownie batter in here and it's all spread out and flattened out, we are going to top it a little bit before we bake it. So we're gonna add a little bit of topping before we put it in the oven to bake it. And I chose to grab my Hershey's sugar-free syrup. And I'm just gonna kind of put it on here in little rows. I don't know if you guys ever seen this or done this with regular brownies, but you just put it in little rows like that and you grab a fork or something and just pull it through. Of course, the batter mix is a little thick so it doesn't look as pretty, but hey, it works and it's cute, so whatever. <laughs> You're gonna go ahead and bake that for 35 minutes at 320 degrees and then you should most definitely let it cool but as you can see i was very impatient and wanted to get this video made for you guys so i went ahead and did not let it cool and i added some more sugar-free chocolate chips on top i didn't put a lot i just sprinkled a little bit for it to kind of melt a little bit and i added a little bit more of the sugar-free um syrup and then of course i want it to be valentine's day themed since this is for valentine's day and I just got these cute little sprinkles from Target and I sprinkled them right on top of the brownies and it's still hot so it just kind of stuck in and then I started cutting them into little squares of course you can cut it however you desire but I just went ahead and cut them into little squares for my family and I and I started placing them on a plate so that you guys can see how ooey gooey perfect they are they're so good um they're actually like better than real brownies to be honest but like i said you should definitely wait until they cool when i pull them out you can see the steam coming up because they're still so hot but i just wanted to show you how they're thick and they're fudgy and they're just so good and what better way to show you than to just show you the real images of me you know like taking them out but look how thick they are they're like real brownies and they're so delicious they're filling they're protein packed so i do hope you guys try this recipe if you do let me know in the comments um like i said thank you so much for all your love and support on all my videos i appreciate each and every one of you guys and i'll see you guys on facebook reels because i'll be posting everything in a faster version on Facebook as well, starting now. Bye, guys.